Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are doing Toad. This was fun. Admittedly, I did not know what I was going to do, but I drew these really, really, really generic frogs, which you really can't see because they're in pencil. And I drew three because, you know, three, whatever. I don't know. I didn't have room for seven. Um, My favorite number. So I got the idea of like the kids next door have bearded dragons and they're camouflage. So I have the idea of doing the frog going camouflage. But how do you go camouflage during Halloween? Hmm. Let's just see what happens. So you turn into candy corn, of course. So my thought process is the frogs are from the top down turning into candy corn. Right? Right. Now, my last, um, I think it was my last, Curti, correct me if I'm wrong, time with frogs was in my Around the World journal, and I really, really liked how that frog turned out, too, because it was already a picture from a lady's dress that had frogs all over it, and I replicated the frog. That was one of my favorite spreads of all time. I don't know why. Maybe I'm half frog. I don't know. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I don't know. But this was fun. And I'm getting him all kind of warty by using all these different shades of green. It's a simple, simple frog shape. I can't do anything very technical. So while my frog is drawing, I am going to work on my background. And that is a piece of Tamoa River paper that I painted watercolors on months and months and months ago. Um, and I, there's a lot of gold in the background from, um, my, what are those paints called again, Curti? Ay, ay, ay. Prima, Prima paints. And Decadent Pies has this gold in it that I absolutely love. And I'm adding gold to some of the what's remaining of the white spots on this Tamoa River paper. Now that makes it very, very, very warpy, which I love. And I think warpy is okay with frogs, right? Right. So um, my green is still not dry, and I'm, I'm playing with it a little bit more. But here goes the camouflage coming in. So I'm starting to paint the candy corn coming down his body. Um, colors, like it's falling from the sky onto his body. Or his body changes his camouflage from the bottom, the top down. That's what it is. Um, this is so much fun. To just try to do this and take yourself away from life's problems and the drudgery of a schedule and whatever else. There's nothing like it. In my opinion, just my opinion, if you can paint a few frogs doing their camouflage thing into candy corn, you know, life is better. Um, and I am doing this kind of on the fast here because we are headed out to a um, Halloween slash family slash thing um, up in the up part of the state in Greenville. And I got to get going. For some reason, they want me to come too. Frogs or no frogs, whatever, whatever. But anyhow, so I got to get on the stick here. And uh, my room is not done. It is all in disarray still. So as soon as it's done, I will do a room tour because it's going to be worth seeing, I think, finally. Um, and I needed to do eyeballs. And I wasn't sure what color to do the eyeballs in. But my favorite color is purple. So hello. Purple eyeballs on these camouflage frogs now you really can't see the pattern here comes their feet now you can starting to see that they're a little bit of frogs they're getting ready to ribbit and jump right right this was i have to say <laughs> if you could just get whimsy i want to do whimsy ween so bad but i don't have time and i'm kind of over halloween as it is and it's not even here yet and tomorrow's my husband's birthday and we're not doing anything for each other. We rarely do. We decide we would rather spend our money instead of gifts. We would rather spend our money and go on trips. Right now, we haven't been able to do trips because of my parents' illnesses, but whatever. So I'm going around the whole thing in black Stabilo um, Woody pencil. I'm going to give it a little bit of a, just to make it stand out a little bit on the other piece of Tomoa River paper that's going to go down. Um... And I think everything looks better with a black outline. I don't know. It's just probably because I use such vibrant colors and I like all these vibrant colors. But, oh, gosh. I highly recommend frog therapy. Highly recommend frog therapy. 
when your days are low, get out a piece of paper and paint you a frog. Ribbit. Oh, this was so much fun. <laughs> now looking back on it, because I'm editing it hours later. I love it. I love it. And I have not slept good. Remember all those sleeping problems I was having, Curdy, waking up like at 3.30 in the morning? Oh, that's starting to happen again. I don't know what the deal is. But I can't deal with that and deal with my parents, too. So I got to get over it. Oh, I love these frogs. Now, when I glue them down to the actual insert, they're just barely touching the paper. Mainly because the paper's still a little damp. These guys are a little damp. But they will go down permanently. I don't want them to hop off and run away anywhere. And I did eat my prop. Yes, I did. Just like last time. I never can remember the order of the candy corn colors. So I have to get a prop and then I promptly eat it. Um, oh, I give them a little Posco pin, white eyeball pupils. And there's a couple little places where I think the black didn't do well. So I kind of fix it. These are so much fun. And a couple of them, their paws aren't, or their feet aren't all the way um, purposely. Because I kind of wanted them to be hopping across the page in different, slightly different angles. Yeah, right. No, their feet just didn't come out very well. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't know why these pictures continue to move. I wish they didn't because I'd rather have you see them better. So, thank you for watching. You can see them better on my Instagram at 4 by 8 stuff, I think. Or is it 4 by 8 paper stuff? Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you all hopefully tomorrow again. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Tomorrow's the 28th. Happy birthday, husband. Thank you. Bye.